Hey, something huge just happened in China, and it's shaking up the whole electric car world. They quietly showed off a new car that doesn't even look like a car. It's like something from the future. It costs less than $16,000, goes faster than a Tesla Model 3, and uses a battery that doesn't need lithium. Yep, no cobalt or nickel either, but it can still go over 500 kilometers on one charge. That's just the start. Inside, it drives itself, has super precise radar, and a dashboard that feels like a fancy jet. The craziest part? They're already making it. No waiting years, no fake promises. It's real, cheap, and they're making tons of them. While car companies in the West are cutting back and asking for help, China just changed the game. This isn't just a car, it's a big deal, and it's going to shake things up in places like Detroit, Tokyo, and Munich. Nobody's talking about it much, but you're hearing it now, and it might change how you think about cars, energy, and who's in charge. It all started with one sneaky sentence in a Chinese government report from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. They said the next kind of car won't follow the West's old rules. That was it. No details, no hints, but it got everyone's attention. In Beijing, experts were freaking out. At Tesla's Shanghai factory, engineers were working late, testing stuff. Something big was coming, and it wasn't just another car. A day later, the secret was out. BYD, China's huge electric car company, showed off the Ocean M, a small hatchback with rear-wheel drive that looks super cool, like it was designed by a windstorm and a superhero. It goes 550 kilometers on one charge, uses an LFP battery, and zooms from zero to 100 super fast. It doesn't look like a cheap city car, it's more like a race car. But the real shock? It costs 19,800 yuan, about $15,000. Car companies in the West got nervous. Tesla's plan for their small Model 2 suddenly seemed too expensive and too slow. Secret videos from Tesla's Texas factory showed their team rushing to build new designs like they were spooked. This wasn't just a new BYD car, it was the start of a whole new kind of car. China wasn't joking about breaking the old rules. Ford canceled interviews. Rivian told their PR team to stay quiet. Even Volkswagen's China team posted a weird late-night tweet about changes coming. Meanwhile, Ocean M cars were speeding through Shenzhen streets, recorded on tons of phones, beating BMW i4s, and cornering better than Volkswagen's ID3. This car was made to change everything, and it was doing just that. TikTok is where it went viral. One video showed the Ocean M at a traffic light next to a Mercedes EQB. Three seconds later, the Mercedes was left behind. The Ocean M's electric power was so fast the camera could barely keep up. People online weren't asking if it could beat Tesla. They were asking when it'd be sold worldwide. But there's more going on here. The Ocean M is just the start of a bigger plan. Leaked emails from engineers, shared by a secret WeChat user, called it Node 1 of China's new energy vehicle, NEV, push. NEV is what they call their electric car revolution. But it's not just about batteries anymore. It's about changing how cars are made, built, and updated. Huawei, you know, the tech giant, put a new operating system in the Ocean M. It's not just for driving fast, but connects with your smartwatch, phone, home thermostat, and even your bus card. Everything works together like magic. But here's the bigger deal. Nine more cars from five Chinese brands are being built on the same platform as the Ocean M. Leaked plans, codenamed G Platform X, says it's been worked on by companies like NEO, XPen, and CATL since 2023. One system, lots of brands, shared parts that means super cheap costs, updates that happen at the same time, and cars that talk to each other. If one car finds a battery problem, all the others get a warning instantly. It's not just teamwork, it's a takeover, and Western car companies didn't see it coming. In the U.S., a big car boss told a reporter, this isn't fair. They're working like an army, and we're stuck chasing short-term goals. He's right. In Guangdong province, a bunch of Ocean M cars were seen driving together with support vans from Cadillac and Huawei. Some had upgraded radar, others were labeled variant A9. This wasn't a show. It looked like a mission. And get this, the Ocean M isn't even the final version. BYD papers call it a Stage 1 Game Changer. Stage 2 has solar-powered fast charging. Stage 3 is self-driving fleets with national ID numbers. This isn't just new tech, it's like an invasion. Real-world tests started popping up online. 
A German tech reviewer tested the Ocean M in a fake winter. It kept the cabin warmer than Tesla's Model Y. Another drove it through flooded streets in Fujian, and it was more waterproof than most cars. Every part, from the bottom design to the smart shocks, felt way fancier than its price. That's when Western companies started to panic. GM scrapped their small EV redesign two weeks after the Ocean M came out. Ford said their battery plans couldn't compete without Chinese help. Even Tesla made a move. They bought a small Canadian company working on battery tech like the Ocean M's to keep their batteries efficient. In just one month, this little hatchback made a trillion-dollar industry nervous. But most people in the West didn't notice. They laughed, saying BYD was just a Chinese company chasing Tesla's shadow. Analysts in Detroit and Silicon Valley called it a small player with no chance against Tesla's global power. But behind closed doors, people were worried. A leaked memo from Germany's auto union was a wake-up call. Get ready for total disruption by 2026. It wasn't hopeful, it was a warning. It said Europe's car industry could collapse, breaking old partnerships and business plans. Tesla's California headquarters wasn't safe either. They held secret meetings called Project Redwood to build a cheap electric car to fight the Ocean M. Engineers were reassigned, budgets shifted, but the pressure was on. For the first time, Tesla looked stuck. European regulators rushed to make rules against cheap Chinese cars, drafting tariffs to protect their companies. But it didn't help much. BYD wasn't just selling to Europe. They were building in Southeast Asia, opening four new markets for cheap electric cars. The Ocean M quietly rolled into faraway cities, shaking up places no one expected. This wasn't just about a car. It was about power. The Ocean M can send power back to the grid, called VGT, and it's built in, not an extra cost. While Western companies charge extra for this, BYD made it standard. The Ocean M can power a house for three days during a blackout, turning it into a lifeline. In Shenzhen, emergency workers used Ocean M cars as mobile power stations for medical tools, cookers, and lights during outages. The city added smart poles that work as chargers and power relays for the Ocean M. In places like New York and London, charging stations are spotty and the grid doesn't connect well. Western car makers treat this tech like a bonus, but BYD made it the heart of a system where cars and cities work together. The secret to BYD's success? They make everything themselves. Batteries, motors, software, chips. No waiting for global supply chains or rare materials. No stress over chip shortages. This gives them speed. While Western cars get software updates every few years, BYD sends big updates every six months. New efficiency tricks, safety features, and battery systems that push range and durability further. Their new silicon carbide inverter tech boosted the Ocean M's range by 15% without a bigger battery. That's a huge leap. Longer drives, less weight, less cost. Some say Tesla might need Chinese partners to keep up. The game's changing, and BYD is playing it smarter. This isn't just about factories. It's about changing where electric cars matter. Markets like India, Brazil, and Morocco didn't see it coming, but now they're in the middle of this electric car wave, and it's called the Ocean M. No big Super Bowl ads, no fancy tech show launches, just quiet deals and factory setups with one clear message, this car is here to rule. In India, BYD got approval for factories by promising local jobs and training. They're building huge plants in Gujarat and Tamil Nadu to make 200,000 cars a year, and they're staying in India. In Brazil, BYD took over an old Ford factory and fixed it up in eight months. No delays, no extra costs. Production starts soon. In Morocco, they got a free trade deal, so Ocean M cars will hit Africa with no taxes and no competition. But the real magic isn't the car, it's where it's going. The Ocean M is made for places with bad power grids like rural India or Central Africa. It comes with battery swap stations that don't need electricity, just simple mechanics and new tech. In two years, the Ocean M could be everywhere Tesla isn't. Not because BYD is faster, but because they're looking where others didn't. And it gets wilder. This $15,000 car is also a driving teacher. It has a neural co-pilot trained on tons of driving data from Didi. It watches every turn, brake, and lane change, giving tips to save energy, drive safer, and get better. Miss a turn? It explains why and how to avoid it next time. It's personal, too. The car adjusts for older drivers or learns your habits to make steering feel just right. It's patented in China as the Neural Adaptive Steering Suite, and it's ready to go.
Meanwhile, U.S. car bosses are pretending it's no big deal, but Wall Street's buzzing. They say America's electric car market is overhyped and under attack. When BYD set the Ocean M's price at $15,000, it shocked everyone. Cars over $25,000 suddenly looked old. Ford's cutting EV ads. GM delayed their battery plans again. Hyundai's slowing down in North America. The storm's coming, and companies are scrambling. The Ocean M doesn't even need the U.S. to win. It's making America unimportant to its success, but America can't ignore it. This isn't about who has the best features anymore. It's about who's fastest, and the West is running out of time. But for BYD, it's not just about winning. It's about changing the rules. They made their boldest move yet, a new DPI 1000 system for level 4 self-driving, ready in months. It turns the Ocean M into a car that drives itself, no human needed. With top-notch radar and cameras, it maps the world perfectly. Unlike Tesla's level 2.5 autopilot, which struggles in traffic or bad weather, BYD promises hands-free driving in cities, jams, and storms. And it's not extra. It's included in the $15,000 price. Self-driving, once a luxury, is now for everyone. Behind it is China's 5G V2X network, connecting cars to roads, lights, and even pedestrians for safety and speed. The Ocean M thrives in this system, while Western cars rely on patchy 4G networks. This isn't just tech, it's a country building its roads for the future, while the West deals with old chargers and rules. This isn't a race anymore, it's a blowout. The West isn't just falling behind, it's already late. The Ocean M isn't just a car, it's the plan for the next 10 years of how we move. Countries now have to choose, fight this change and risk falling behind, or join it and let a foreign power control their roads. Consumers have a choice too, stick with expensive old brands or join a revolution that's cheap, high-tech, and powerful. This isn't about speed or style anymore. It's about who controls movement, data, and roads. China didn't just join the race. They rewrote it, redesigned the track, and started way ahead. The question isn't if electric cars will change, it's how fast and how big that change will be. If this surprised you, like the video. If it made you think, share it. For more crazy tech and power shifts, subscribe. And tell us in the comments, is this the moment Tesla loses its lead or will it fight back with something new?